It's not dangerous, it's just uncomfortable, okay? So from here, let's just say I'm in this position and he starts to hide his toes a little bit, okay? Look like kind of shrugging a little bit differently. Here, I'm looking to invert. This time I'm shrugging back and I'm throwing this leg underneath. I'm grabbing the big toe, okay? And I'm going to bend his leg, okay? I'm pulling it over across my hip. Immediately I'm sitting up and pushing this leg across my hip. Okay, and I'm grabbing an ankle up right here. This is very uncomfortable. I need you guys just to be careful when you get in here. Mostly pressuring this part of his body. So look how I sat up, I controlled the secondary leg with an ankle up grip. You can either hold this grip like this, controlling this leg somehow, or make it even tighter by now grabbing my own shin and locking into position. Okay? The sub is very easy. Okay? It's going underneath of his ankle. I flex into a niche. When I grab, it's locking his hip into place. Okay, so one more time. Go slow and you bend your leg for your partner, otherwise it's a knee bar, okay? So from here, he starts to hide his heel. I shrug back, I thread under this leg, and I find the big toe. Because it's already bent, it's very easy to pull across. Okay, and your legs are relatively safe. I shove it in the pocket. And I grab and I sit up like this. So I'm going for an ankle lock grip. My feet stay stomp. I can either control here or here. I like this grip better because what I'll do is I'll control here and I can manually put my foot in and then there's my open bar. Okay, but I would just recommend going here. All you have to do for the sub is just hold it, flex the your partner a little bit. Don't get off of your elbow. Okay, don't lay back, stay upright. Pull your arm back. Look at his heel and just start to flex for the top. If he straightens his leg, it's a knee bar, so be careful. So look how I shrug out, this pressure on the inside of the kneecap. Okay, so last time, and work with your partner, no strength on these moves, okay? So here he hides his heel, that's a good defense. I shrug back, I throw this leg through, trapping the secondary leg. It makes it harder for him to spin away. I reach underneath, I'm grabbing his toes, and I'm following it, I'm watching with my head, I'm placing it across my hip. I'm sitting up, I'm using my elbow to get up. I grab his knee, I put his leg into the pocket here. Now I'm either controlling here, controlling here, controlling here, taking his leg, and just pushing it up to hurt his joint. Hey guys, one, two.